Welcome to HV Kids. I'm Pastor JL, and we're in week one of our brand new series called Super Fan. Cheer each other on. And our Life app this month, remember, Life app is what God does in us to change the world around us. Our Life app is kindness. Yes. And kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. Let's take a look at our memory verse comes from Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, and it says, You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if it were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. Yes, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you, God, that you are so, so good and that we are your chosen people and that is something that is so wild and so amazing and so lord show us something new today show us something new about us and show us something new about you in jesus name we pray amen amen friends you know we have a brand new song this month and it is called do you remember what it's called it's called give a little kindness so as you sing this song i want you to pay attention to the words Pay attention to what you're saying, because when we say things, we're declaring things. We're declaring the truth. So let's worship. Got a rhythm in my heart and in my soul. Got a reason for this joy I can't control. love I know what you give to me is not for me to keep it's for the world to see your love every day you're giving me your kindness every day you're giving me your love oh. with every single breath I am reminded that what you give is more than This month, we are talking all about kindness. Now, maybe you've seen kindness on a bumper sticker or maybe on a shirt that says, just be kind, or this on purpose. 
Maybe you've heard someone say, just be kind to somebody else. Kindness, what is kindness? What does it mean to be kind? Is it the same as being nice? Mm, is there more? Well, that's what we're going to explore this month. I'm gonna share a story with you about kindness right now. You know, when the pandemic hit last year in 2020, here's what's cool. Higher Vision Church, we put in the Higher Vision Food Pantry. That's right. And it was something that was supposed to be, well, temporary because we saw the need in our community. People were losing their jobs and people didn't have enough money to get food for their families. So this is what our church did. Our church said, what would Jesus do? And we want to make sure that we are the hands and feet of Jesus. And so we started the HV Cares Food Pantry. And here's what's cool. Something that was meant to be temporary ended up being permanent. And to this day, we are still giving food to families who are in need. And maybe you live near the uh, Higher Vision Valencia area and you need some food. I encourage you to drop by. Go to discoverhv.com, click on HV Cares, and you can find more information. Or if you want to donate food or monetary resources, you're, you know, you or your family, you can do that. Um, get more information there as well. Discoverhv.com, click on HV Cares. You know, why does kindness sometimes feel extreme? You know, like, whoa, we started a food pantry. That's extreme. Or, you know, why it shouldn't feel normal. Um, shouldn't going out of our way for others be a natural thing? You know, we know kindness when we see it, right? We're like, wow, hey, that was kind. We can point it out. But how come we don't always make the choice to show kindness to others? What can we do to change that? It's a very good question. And with good questions, we need good answers. And we can go to the Bible. That's right. The Bible is the word of God. It is the truth. That's right. And so we're going to look in the New Testament today, specifically in the book of Ephesians. See, Ephesians actually started off as a letter. It was a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote. Paul wrote this letter to the church in Ephesus to encourage the new Christians, well, and all of us Christians, right? But to encourage them to be kind to one another. So we're going to jump into verse 24. So let's take a look. Actually, before 24, let's look at 32. 32 says, be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. And we're going to talk more about what Jesus, Jesus Christ, has done for us in just a little bit. But let's look at verse, uh, verse 24. See, Paul's telling us to be kind to one another, but let's look at a little bit more. It says, you were taught to start living a new life. It is created to be truly good and holy just as God is, right? So after saying that people should follow God, now... Um, people follow God. Now they need to live a, a new life in Jesus. Paul gave some examples, right? So here are the examples, starting with verse 25. So each of you must get rid of your line. Speak the truth to your neighbor. We are all parts of one body. So he's saying, do not lie. Stop your lying, right? So what should we do instead? What is the kind thing to do? Kind thing to do instead of lying, tell the truth. Yeah, the little guy's like, yay. Tell the truth. Verse 28. Anyone who has been stealing must never steal again. Instead, they must work. They must do something useful with their own hands. Then they will have something to give to people in need. So what did we learn? We learned, don't steal, right? So what would be the kind thing to do instead? The kind thing to do instead is... Work hard and share. And we learned about sharing last month, which was really cool. Okay, now verse 29. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. That verse sounds familiar, right? Okay, so what do we not need to do? Do not tear down. Don't tear people down with your words. Instead, the kind thing to do is... Build people up. Build people up with your words. You know, last week we learned about encouragement. So let's encourage people with our words. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 says, Get rid of all hard feelings. 
It means don't hang on to strife. Don't hang on to things that like, oh, I will never forget what they told me. That's not healthy for you, friend. So it says, get rid of all hard feelings, anger, and rage. Stop all fighting and lying. Don't have anything to do with any kind of hatred. Amen. I love that. I'm going to read it again. Don't have anything to do with any kind of hatred. Love that. Paul said all these things. He said all these things, this bitterness, anger, hatred. He said they don't fit in your new life as a follower of Jesus anymore. They don't fit there. So what replaces them? What replaces the bitterness, the anger, and the hatred? Verse 32. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. See, being kind is the new normal. You know, we talk about, oh, the new normal. The new normal as a Christian is to be kind. That's right. You know, the amazing story we heard about with HV, HV Cares Food Pantry, right? I mean, we shouldn't need a crisis or a pandemic to show kindness. What is the driving force behind our kindness? Well, it's at the end of the verse. What did it say? Let's read it again. Amen. I love the word of God. So it says, be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another. Just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. Did you catch that? Forgive. Forgiveness. That is the end of our verse. Forgiveness. Forgive each other just as God forgave us because of what Jesus did for us. God isn't asking us to do anything that he hasn't done first. So forgive others. God forgave first. Show kindness to others. God showed kindness to us first. God is the driving force behind our kindness. Why? Because God was so kind to us. So now we get to act like him in showing kindness to others. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, what is that part, that part way at the end? Let me read it again and let's see if we can figure that out. It says, be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. What did Jesus do for us? Let me tell you, Jesus did the ultimate kind thing ever. Jesus gave his life so that we could have life. It's true. See, when we sin, when we do things that are wrong, that separates us from God. Sin separates us from God. And what we need is somebody to save us. And the only way we could be saved is if somebody paid the price or the punishment for our sin. And the good news is Jesus paid that price for our sin. Jesus paid for our punishment. He took all of our sin, sickness, guilt, shame, everything on him because he loves us that much. And Jesus died on the cross for us to forgive our sins from now until forever. And he did that because he loves us that my friend, is true love. That, my friend, is true kindness. And that's what Jesus did for us. But here's the best part of it too. There's a lot of best parts, right? Jesus didn't stay dead, but Jesus rose from the dead. That's right. Jesus conquered death. He, Jesus conquered the grave. Jesus conquered all of that evil because Jesus is bigger than everything. That's right. Jesus is God's son. Jesus is God. And Jesus rising from the dead gives us hope knowing that we, we can live for him and that we can live a life that is a victory, a victorious life. So my question for you today is this. Do you know Jesus? Have you received Jesus into your life? Have you said, Jesus, I want to live for you. And if you haven't, I want to pray with you. And maybe if you have, but maybe you tried doing life your own way, it's time to come back, friend. Let's pray this together. Say, Lord Jesus, today is my day. I don't want to live trying to do things on my own anymore. I want to live for you and only you. Please forgive me of all my sins, all the wrong things I've done. And please help me 
to live for you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, I love it. Amen, that's right. See, now now we know. See, it's, it's easy to think that kindness is something exceptional or something that's so special that only the best of the best can be really good at it. But kindness is a whole lot more natural for those of us who follow Jesus. Or at least it should be, right? We can begin to replace old and hurtful responses with responses that are more like God's responses to us. The kind way. You know, who can you be kind to this week? Let's think about that. Maybe your mom, your dad, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, um, your teacher, your buddy, your enemy. Mm -hmm. Um, Where can you be be kind? You can be kind at home, at school, at, you know, Zoom school, right? You can be kind at church. You can be kind at the grocery store. You can be kind at Walmart. Praise the Lord. We can be kind anywhere and we can be kind to everyone. Here's my question for you. What does kindness look like? What does it look like? When have you seen it? When have you seen kindness? What does it look like? How is it different than being nice? How can we start to define kindness by what we have learned together today? How can we be more like Jesus and be kind to everyone? Let's pray together. God, I want to thank you so much that you you show us kindness. Thank you for sending Jesus. And thank you so much for forgiving us. And thank you that we can come to you and tell you everything that's going on in our life because you care about us. And we thank you so much. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. You know, we want to hear from you. So comment on this video. Send us an email at hvkids at highervisionchurch.com. Also, join us in person at our Valencia location. We would love to see you. And remember, every day with God is an adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. Have a great week. Stay tuned for our friends at the So-and-So Show. And remember, just be kind. Amen. Love you guys. See you later. Bye. Man, everybody knows that's a trap. I can't believe you did that. What? That's so awesome. Hey, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. Woo! Did you know that an estimated 145 million greeting cards will be sent this month? Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, people have said that the greeting card is a go in the way of the dinosaur, the dodo bird, or gremlin cereal. Ha, ha, classic. But I say no, I'm a huge fan of greeting cards. Me too. And do you know who else I'm a fan of? Who? mail carriers who deliver those cards. So, it's time to play Rain, Snow, or Hail. You still get your mail. Woo! Yeah! <sighs> Ooh, these are nice blue shirts. Here's how this works. Brandon and I are going to climb aboard our mail mobiles and deliver greeting cards filled with kind words to the mail baskets you see here. The first person to deliver a card to all three of these destinations wins. Sounds kind of (laughs) easy. Oh, well, I forgot to mention the snow, hail, and rain. Oh, yes, you did. You did forget to mention that. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Go! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! I got oh, one! I got one! I got one! I got one. I got one. Oh, oh, the rain! Oh, it's Woo! snowing! It's warm, warm water! Woo! Oh! Hey! Oh, I got two! We're tied! We're tied! I'm getting 
getting so wet. Oh! oh! You know what? I think I'm done with this game. Yeah, me too. Woo! Woo! So much fun! So fun! Ha ha! So, Brandon. Yeah, John? We're going to address the uh, Hans in the room? Oh, I think we should. <laughs> Me too. Ha! 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 Hans? Hans. 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 That is my name. Do not allow it to slowly erode through over usage. Uh, everyone, this is our friend Hans. Uh, he thought it would enhance the overall sound atmosphere of the show if we had a studio audience. So This is correct. So we put him in charge of getting one together. Yeah, th then we had second thoughts. So we tried to call him to cancel, but apparently Hans doesn't have a phone. This is correct. Ha, 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 et cetera. What? Ha, 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 et cetera. <laughs> What's so funny? Did you bring your own sign holder? He comes with me everywhere. He's very quiet. Why are you the only person in the audience? Ah, I called some people, but no one came. I thought you didn't have a phone. This is correct. I do not have a phone. But I do have a window. Hello, people. I am Hans Decibel, audio engineer. You will come to a show with me. You will have a great laugh. Ha, ha. But no one came. But not to fear. I brought a dummy and a change of clothes for variety. We're going to get back to the show. Yeah. Yay! <sighs> It's uh, Bible story time with Kellen. Huzzah! Hurrah! And more phrases like this. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Did I say something funny? No. We've got a Hans in the studio audience. Yay! You have a studio audience? Yeah, but don't get used to it. Boo! Take it away, Kellen. All right, then. It's cool that we have a fan in the audience today because it actually goes along with what we're talking about. The truth is, we can all use a fan sometimes, right? When we're feeling down or when we've messed up. It helps that we have people in our lives who are kind of like our cheerleaders. Oh, that's our cue, oh. Jack. I heard it, Dee Dee. We're here for you, Kellen! Yeah, go Kellen! Woo! And sometimes it helps to have actual cheerleaders. This is Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. They are here to cheer us on. But not only that, they're here to help teach us how to be cheerleaders for others. Does that sound about right? Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're... Jackie, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this, Dee Dee. to one another. Sometimes that's all it takes to be someone's cheerleader. Just be kind. But don't take my word for it. Here's what the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Ephesians. Be kind and tender to one another. Sounds simple. And it can be, especially if you're being kind to people who are kind to you. But Paul goes on. 
Forgive one another just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. Sometimes people aren't kind to you. They're rude even. How do you respond? Are you kind and forgiving like Paul wrote? Or are you rude back? What do you say, cheer squad? Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Didi. What do you say when you gotta forgive someone? Oh, I say this. I forgive you, I forgive you. Not because it is kind, but for what Christ has done. I forgive you, I forgive you. We should be kind and forgive not because it's easy and not even because someone has earned it. We do it because of what God did for us. He sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. Now, that wasn't easy, and we definitely didn't deserve it, but that's how much God loves us. That's how kind he is, and that's why we should be kind to each other. Well, help us remember what we've learned, cheer squad. You ready, Jackie? I was born ready, Dee Dee. You know what they say. No one minds when you're being kind. Here we, Here go. we go. K I N D N E S S. K I N D N E S S. What can you do when someone's life's a mess? K I N D N E S S. How can you help them with all that stress? K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S It's not always easy, this I must confess K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S But we should do it cause of God's faithfulness K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S Woo! K-I-N-D-N-E-S-S is how God expects us to treat one another with kindness. Now, let's give it up for the cheer squad. Yay! Go cheer squad! Go cheer squad! Great job, cheer squad. Way to go. Go cheer squad! Kindness sounds so simple when it's in a cheer. Yeah, but we know it can be hard. Kindness is one of those things where the more you do it, the easier it gets. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll see you guys on the flip side. You know what? He's right. Kindness does get easier the more you do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start right now. Hans, I'm sorry. I should be more kind to you. You really are a great audience member. That's just great. I poured my heart out like that for nothing. Well, hey, you know what they say. No one minds when you're being kind. <gasps> you're right! <laughs> Oh, reveal the question. What does kindness look like? Oh, it looks like this. Yeah, uh, it could also look like giving up your place in line or saying please and thank you. Uh, oh yeah, or, or it can be big stuff too, like uh, letting go of a grudge and forgiving someone. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hans is back. Yay! Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I, I, I... Well, I think that's our show. And it was a good one. You did great, John. Hey, so did you, Brandon. Thank and you. so did you, Hans. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. See you next week. Aloha. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>